All right, this is going to be relatively quick. If your problem is you have the inner basket, not the outer tub, but the basket on the inside is sloppy and loose, I've been messing with this for a bit. It, it was clunking like it was out of balance, because obviously it was because that basket was loose. And I figured it was going to be a much bigger issue, and I was ready to take that basket out of there. Um, so I've taken the front off, the top off, in preparation to take that out. There's no need for that. If this is your situation and you want to investigate this first, you don't need to take the front and top off. Um, I looked at other uh, videos about removing an agitator, but this is a hot point. Um, I can't tell you what model specifically. It's a hot point top loading washer. Um, and the agitator looks like this. It had it had a plastic dome on there and then the cap on top. Where is that? Grab that. It had this on top initially, you know, for your softener. You pull that out, you have a little wheel and pull it out. And then there was kind of a, a dome on top of that. And a lot of the other videos indicated you just pull that out of there and then underneath will be a bolt. Um, put your socket in there, take that nut off or bolt, whichever it may be, and then lift the agitator right out. Well, that's not the case with this hot point. With this hot point, you have to actually take, you have to take that off. <laughs> Let me reposition here and show you. Now I've had, I took mine out once already, and so it might be a little easier this time than it was uh, initially. But I've seen guys actually have to put like a strap or something underneath here. You might have seen in other videos and kind of pry it out. But if you're lucky, you can just go underneath both edges here and just pop it out. And that's all there really is to that. So after that, take out this bolt. I'm tightening it because I put it back together. I, I thought I would just make this quick video because it, I looked everywhere for something for this and I figured it'd probably be helpful for somebody. And I took this off and then you'll see there's a, what's called a tub nut. It's a reverse thread. Mine was loose and basically off and I could lift this tub and wiggle it around. Now it's tight, that whole thing moves as a unit. This thing, the inner tub used to move independently and sloppy, which was giving me a really bad, you know, vibration and off balance deal during the spin cycle and then it wouldn't completely dry the clothes. And then I'd put wet clothes in the uh, dryer and that blew the thermal fuse in the dryer because <laughs> it overheated because the whole clothes were too wet. So I no longer had heat temporarily, but that was an easy fix, whole different subject. But um, so yeah, I tighten that up, reverse thread this way, not clockwise, snugged, put that back on, tighten that down. Making sure we're good and tight here. Put this back on, give it a push back down firmly, put that back on. I'm gonna need to get another cap in there. I guess I don't need to, but I'd like to, because I like everything to be functioning properly. Because if I were to put fabric softener in here now, which I don't use anyways, but if I were to, um, that little dome deal that's in there, that cover, directs it out some side holes on here. There's three side holes around there, and then that just kind of drizzles into your uh, your wash, your fabric softener. So I'm going to get a new piece to put on there. But in the meantime, as long as my water level doesn't go above those holes, I should have zero issues. I don't even think anything would happen even if water did get in there, to be honest with you. I mean, what's it going to do? Um, but you got some other parts in here that actually uh, control the agitation. You know, you go this way and it'll spin freely. But when you, whoops, it's kind of hard for me to see the pictures upside down from my point of view. Um, 
spins freely, but if you go the other way, those little plastic pieces in there, those there's four round pieces in there, those are replaceable and they can wear out. It's just a rubber deal. If I turn this over, they'd fall out. Um, so when you go this way, they're slack. When you go that way, they bind up, causing the agitation. So anyways, that's pretty much that. Hopefully that's helpful. And like I said, if, if you can't pop this off as easily as I did, you know, try getting some straps under there and giving it a good pull, but it will come off. There's no need to dig any more into here. Like some of the other machines, a lot of the other machines, this is how you access to get that agitator out, not this one. Um, once I gave that a try and that popped out of there, I was home free. And I could not believe that that uh, tub nut was just sitting on there. And that was my whole problem. So we'll get it all back put, to, put together and uh, fire it up. I got some laundry to do. So good luck. Hopefully that was helpful.